unless she had a lot of help, and that's not even the state's theory. Whereas his son, who's a farmhand, who's big, who's a big, strong buck, who also had the financial motive to do it, could in fact theoretically have done it. There's no way my client would have done it. So I think there's a lot of reasonable doubt. If the jury still convicts this person, and I, I, I'm not saying they'd be wrong to convict her. I'm also not saying they'd be wrong to acquit her. But if they convict her, in my opinion, in my humble opinion, it's only because of the fact that they developed a hatred of this woman, right? This woman, according to Matt Johnson, doesn't even stand when the jury comes into the room, which to me was bizarre. It was disorienting to even think about. If I was her attorney, I, pr I wouldn't have done this in front of the jury, but I would have taken her aside in the hallway on a break, had a stern conversation with her. If you don't stand the next time the jury comes into the room, I'm walking out, I'm quitting the case, right? I'm going to file an oral motion to withdraw, right? It's that disrespectful, her behavior in the court. So if she gets convicted, in my opinion, that has to have been a massive part of it. Uh, so yeah, I do think there's reasonable doubt, Ted. I do think there's reasonable doubt. Will it carry the day? I, I, I don't know. It's a tough one. So these jail calls that are happening right now, just to clarify for our viewers listening along, it's Melody talking to her daughter, Amanda. This is a daughter that we've heard from the other siblings that fully supports her mother. We have